right. Hi, everyone. We're here at Adobe Live with Veronique LaFortune and Emile Lord Ayot. Salut. And they're from Le Billy Club, which is in Montreal. Mm -hmm. It's a small business studio that runs and works with other small businesses. Um, mainly, you guys have a big clientele in Montreal specifically, right? Yes. Yeah. We especially work with the local clients. Yeah. Nice. Awesome. Well, yesterday we walked through Monacayo? Monacano. 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 Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Monacano, which is a swimwear <laughs> line that uh, is a new client of theirs. And mm -hmm. we walked through the process of yeah. what it takes mm -hmm. to actually create and start a brand. Mm -hmm. um, and today, Veronique and Emile are going to look through what it is to to actually go through phase two. Okay. So this is going to be the design process? Exactly. 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 Yeah. All right. So get excited, guys. Um, we have a lot of people joining us from all over the world today. Uh, where's everybody coming hey. in from? There's some Montreal people. Oh, yeah. There's uh, Hector Lira. Yeah. He's like, hey, Billy Club. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Hector. Hi, Anita. Is there people from Montreal there? Yeah, anyone from Montreal? Oh, Germany. Germany. Marie. Phoenix. Amazing. South Carolina, <laughs> Michigan. Hi, Lauren. <laughs> Ireland. Mexico, Ireland, Dallas, Sacramento, Tennessee. Hey, Victor. Wow. I know. Oh, I know Montreal, Victor. Jonathan. I, I play volleyball with Victor. You play volleyball? Really? Hi, Victor. <laughs> <laughs> We're learning so much about the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> he plays volleyball. It's pretty yeah. great. <laughs> yeah, that's something I do. Yeah, oh, amazing. Victor. Uh, dad, my Wisconsin. Mom. Your dad is there. I love oh, it. Oh, good. Dad Family is, is watching. Oh, this is even better. Hi, What's mom What's up, and dad? dad? <laughs> Antarctica. Wow. Perfect. Is it cold? I wonder. Oh. California. Cool. <laughs> Russia. How's it going in Russia. Antarctica? How is it going in Antarctica? I what are, What are they creating in Antarctica right now? I wonder. Are they designing there too? Colombia. All right. Cool. Oh, yeah. Well, we've got a big group of people showing up today, so this <laughs> is amazing. How about we do a little overview of what we looked at yesterday? Yeah, yeah exactly. Right. We prepared li a little presentation that uh, we reviewed with the client yesterday. Perfect. So they yeah. sent us our feedback on what we've done on day one, mm -hmm. and um, now we have a more clear direction. Yeah. Oh, nice. So you guys yeah. talked with them last night. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So oh, we, perfect. We could have uh, adjusted what we, what we did yesterday. That's yeah, great. So. so between today and yesterday, Day, you were able to gather some more information to yep. help the design. Awesome, cool. Well, let's take a look maybe at uh, some of the slides from yesterday. Yep. Yeah. All right. So, um, just a little comeback on Monicano brand. Um, <laughs> Monicano. Um, it's a swimwear apparel company uh, made with passion. And we're just going to go through the slide I presented mm -hmm. yesterday. Um, Perfect. And mm -hmm. just to uh, bring our mind back to the project, yeah. and uh, the the new viewers can know what yeah, we're gonna I do. Think yeah, that's great. So um, it's a project f uh, of it's a project of Gabriel and Arthur, and mm -hmm. uh, they are partners in life, and they combine their entrepreneurial ambition and their passion for travel and the ocean to create a, a swimwear apparel company mm -hmm. called Manicano, and uh, they they work a lot and they. They have a vision of this life that they want to share, and mm -hmm. this is their project. And we are a mandate to create a brand identity for um, their new company that will refre reflect all their passion and the values they want to add into mm -hmm. the brand. Mm -hmm. And that was the key line that they gave us, and they, they want to make a living by traveling and by creating something that reflects who they are. Um, meeting new people, mm -hmm. uh, have great care of the, the nature, and uh, mm -hmm. make a mm -hmm. product that will last and that is good quality, um, and share their passion for the ocean and swimming. Amazing. And um, we add those keywords oh, yesterday. Nice. Yeah. But we're gonna keep those keywords as like a company like core value. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. they are committed and rooted, and this is always gonna be important. And this is what. Yeah. It's going to make a big yeah. difference. That'll never change in their brand. Exactly. exactly. Th yeah. These two words, I feel like they are um, they are representing who they are yeah. exactly. the inside the company. That's and they great. really like yeah. the word rooted because yeah. it's it's from yeah. the nature. And uh, and I think it will guide them uh, mm -hmm. take decision. Yeah. Because they, they, uh, they have a local mind, a local way to do things, but they're going to be traveling a lot. So they're, mm -hmm. they're kind of doing things local while they're, they're not local. So right. it's a good thing that they're rooted in what 
what values they have. Yeah, because yeah. even though the brand could be, well, the brand is rooted, but they can be moving. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah, it's exactly. good. Good combination. And the, the main platforms uh, they're going to showcase their product is Instagram. They're going to have a website. And they, they want something special for the packaging because, mm. because we want to do something for the respect of, on, mm -hmm. of the environment. Yeah. We need to find something that is yeah. also um, reflecting that mm -hmm. vision. I'm excited to see what that becomes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, our, like the, the people that we want to attract mainly is the young, curious and creative souls, mm -hmm. the people that are inspired by, by mm -hmm. them. And um, the keywords we, we want to play with is youthful, inspiring, and mindful. Nice. And those are some of the keywords that we co-created exactly. yesterday yeah, with, yeah. The, with the viewers. So yeah, guys, you got to be a little bit of the piece of the action. So exactly. it's pretty cool. They took note and oh, uh, nice. they came back with this. Yeah, that's great. I like inspiring and mindful. I think that's yeah, really nice. Exactly. Youthful was a shoe in that was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, the youthful uh, might bring the little vibrant and energetic, mm -hmm. e energetic um, mm -hmm. like uh, energy. Yeah. yeah. And inspiring could be the nature, the beauty of nature, the the mm -hmm. beautiful product and mm -hmm. the, their lifestyle, the company mm -hmm. value, and the mindful is like for everything that is well thought and just. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Exactly pushing the, the brand farther. Yeah, I like it. And um, our playground, um, we saw it yesterday, but we're just going to come back a little bit on it. But, and it's the warm weather escapes, mm -hmm. the quality of the product, the nature, fashion, health, and the life enthusiasts. Mm -hmm. And they came back with some comments on the previous uh, presentation mood boards. Oh, great, yeah. And I adjust the pictures mm -hmm. of the mood boards, so we have a a, a, a better direction for it. Nice. I always like to see the before and after. Yeah. It, it, it helps to solidify what you're going to exactly. do today. <laughs> yeah. And um, their favorite board is the eco-friendly and amazing mm -hmm. picture board. Cool. And uh, we can play with that like amazing picture from the nature mm -hmm. and top views and stuff. And uh, mm -hmm. also like action of people uh, doing nice um, action on the beach, like uh, t taking the bottles and yeah. uh, like cleaning, cleaning the, the beaches, beaches yeah. Yeah. yeah, things like that. Exactly, and like try to inspire people to like do stuff like this together. Yeah, participation mm -hmm. is key. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and I feel like they really like this type of color palette too. They mm -hmm. they kind of highlighted the fact that they really like blue and black and yeah. things that that yeah. feel like like water, you know. Is mm -hmm. the colorful um, fruit plate photo in the middle? Is that new? That's yeah. New. I changed yeah. it for yeah. like the. Um, but we, we talked about LT Lifestyle mm -hmm. yesterday yeah. and uh, it, it was a little bit, it, it can be a little bit not confusing, but there's a lot of uh, different meaning right, than yeah. what you, how you interpret the, that sentence. Mm -hmm. But uh, for them, it's like eat well and uh, mm -hmm. take time to eat, like yeah. uh, have, eat Nourish. fruits and there's yeah. so many good products around the world. And when you go somewhere and you eat local, you eat yeah. like, you uh, encourage uh, uh, local yeah, products. and. and uh, they they want to inspire people so like they I guess they want to inspire like in every uh, every aspect of life mm -hmm. I guess like I also like the colors that you brought in with that photo mm -hmm. I think it's a nice representation of uh, some of the playfulness that you were yeah, looking exactly. at yesterday but exactly. in a healthy focus mm -hmm. you yeah. can find colorful uh, colors in food in nature, you know yeah. Yeah, in nature totally. exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. so I think it's important to bring it back because yeah. Yeah. At, uh, we might want to bring it a little bit more earthy, mm -hmm. yeah. more like wa the water and the earth. Mm -hmm. But there's also nice touches of, of color mm -hmm. we can And also back. yesterday we had, uh, we, we were talking about some of our mood boards that felt really opposite uh -huh. in terms of color and, uh, yeah, and textures. And I feel like by adding this type of color in this particular mood board, kind of connects yeah. everything together. Oh, you know? I love it, yeah. yeah. What do you guys think out there? It's a pretty good addition with the with the new colorful food photography. I think it's beautiful. Yeah, I don't know if there are some people that were there yesterday, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I think there is quite a few people tuning in from yesterday and today, so I'll be excited for them. Yeah. <laughs> um, and the last Ooh. mood board, because I cut it, uh, we had like the very colorful uh, mm -hmm. board, and I think we're going to take it out because mm -hmm. it's going to be too confusing and yeah. um, it wasn't the inspiration but it the it wasn't winning 
like the the, the, the biggest part of yeah. it. So uh -huh. we're gonna get the colors and the the vibe from the warm weather escape, and it's not gonna be a Miami yeah. vibe, but more like mm -hmm. a, a chill surfing vibe. Yeah. Kind. Mm -hmm. I can see that with all the photographs together, yeah. it's starting to really come together and gel, mm -hmm. be more cohesive. This is great, and you can still like find like colorful palette and with the little vintage color, but yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Looks like you guys have some um, friends out there. Sim Simone. Simone's very excited to see you, Emil. <laughs> he, just, he just wants me to say his name. I yeah, know. I know. <laughs> and uh, we saw the message yesterday, and um, we really want to push this, so uh, we might play with this in mm -hmm. our design mm -hmm. today. Uh, inspiring, made with passion, made with great care for lovers of water, made nice. with respect for nature, mm -hmm. made in Montreal, so it's locally Local. made for, mm -hmm. for them. This um, is great. And the uh, fun choices uh, that the client came back with, Ooh. they screenshot what they liked from yesterday. Cool. Yeah. So it gives us a little bit more... Um, yeah, more direction. More yeah, direction. Exactly. Yeah. Their favorite one was the the one on the top left. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Like, yeah, cool. Uh, I think they they really like the and and made the style of it. And this is kind of the one that's uh, that's the more handmade feel. You know? mm -hmm. Yeah. The, it has the more texture. So yeah, exactly. I think we we can we have a good a good starter mm -hmm. pack. So in these. they didn't choose bad blood. <laughs> no. <laughs> nope. There's I, no T Swift in there. I am surprised. <laughs> I'm too. surprised. <laughs> so I mean, maybe good. next time, guys. Yeah. 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 Shout next out time. T Swift. <laughs> so we're gonna play with like probably the different styles and maybe we're not going to do an end right in logo but maybe mm -hmm. we can find some other mm -hmm. elements of, of yeah. the brand with with it now that we know that re they really like it yeah i think mm -hmm. it's a great selection it's really diverse still exactly it's still very yeah, diverse it is. i'm, I'm going to be curious to but see but they, they say they're, they're saying like we trust you like mm -hmm. yeah go well, with your gut best. feeling yeah go yeah. ahead it's nothing better than when a client <laughs> trusts you right yeah. you're like thank you for <laughs> trusting me you chose me <laughs> I don't know if they're watching right now. But yeah, maybe they're say watching. Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys are there. Yeah. I don't know. If you're out there, shout your name. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. Um, I guess this is pretty much it for the yep, review. This is ah. it. If you guys have any questions about, uh, <laughs> about the process or about the brand we're working on, <laughs> I got this saying yeah. hello. Yeah, put I got, those questions out there. I got works a lot with us. She's kind of... Uh, She's it's kind of part of yeah, Billy she's Club too. Part so. of Billy Club, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. So Amazing. we're ready to design. Oh my goodness, I love this. Okay, so we're ready, guys. Should we count them down? <laughs> <laughs> we should Three, do a little two, countdown. One, go! <laughs> um, we can switch to my yep. uh, my computer for a while. Amazing. There you go. So for those of you joining today, we have a pretty exciting competition that mm -hmm. we're going to do as well. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to be reviewing uh, posters for Rubber Bands, a music festival. Um, so hopefully you guys are submitting your posters and Emil and Vera will be looking at them and judging them scrutinously uh, with their designer eyes. We'll, we'll be kind. We'll yeah, be kind. maybe. I mean, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Right? Very, yeah. very judgy. So it'll be very good. <laughs> oh, right. so William has a question. How did you pick the color palettes? Um, we're going to come back on the, the color palette today. I'm going to yeah. be actually working on this mm -hmm. while uh, Emil is going to start Playing Perfect. with the logo, I'm gonna mm -hmm. play more with the universe, and uh, cool. but we can yeah, look at it while I'm I'm doing awesome. it. But Maybe this is something we have to say, but like this is the really the kind of uh, this this is the way we work normally. You uh -huh. know, I'm gonna I'm gonna focus more on the type and on on the mm -hmm. logo, and Vero's gonna be more on the identity, uh, yeah, brand universe and all. So uh, this is this is the way we work normally too. So it That's great. kind of makes sense with this us. This is real, real live design. Yeah, exactly. There's no charades here. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just going to show um, some inspiration I got that uh, was kind of different from the fonts we had. Because I, I uh, as I said yesterday, the fonts were just there to uh, yeah, inspire also. Mm -hmm. Just uh, give us a little um, a little start. So I just got some um, 
yeah, some inspiration I got nice. from Behance. I just wrote, you know, tropical yeah, I love branding in <laughs> Behance. And yeah, these came out and I really like how, oh, I love that. Yeah. how like for this type of brand, like something more, uh, more straight looking could mm -hmm. fit and something more like hand style script could also fit. You know, this is nice. this looks very much like the one they really like also. You know? Yeah, it I does. There's just some similarities. I, I think a couple together. people are curious, what are the names of some of the fonts that you've chosen to work with? Yeah. Um, so the font they they like the most, which is this one. Uh -huh. You can you can really see how these two yeah. kind of look look the same. Uh, this one is called Playlist Script. Playlist Script. Playlist okay. Script. Note this, guys. Um, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not gonna talk about each of <laughs> them because there's a lot. But um, Simone asked if you're gonna use Papyrus. No, we're not, Simone. <laughs> we're not. <laughs> Gosh. Okay. <laughs> Maybe um, Comic Sans? I don't know. <laughs> no, we're not. We're not. But um, yeah, font names. That's where, <laughs> that's where right. we were, right? That's where we were. Yeah, we can we can talk a bit about some of them. There's one that I really like. Um, it's called Business Penmanship. Business um, Penmanship. Really feels like a signature, you know, but the curves are really nice and I, I uh, often use this one to yeah, inspire and do some nice. some ligatures yeah. or things like that. Uh, it's we, very natural looking. Exactly. Yeah. I, I, I think this has a lot of open type features too. Oh, That's something wow. we talked about very yesterday. Cool. But yeah. So it's always, fun. it's always fun just to look at how some, some, uh, yeah. some letters can end or start yeah. even. It's and some of them look like an A like at the very what end. What is that? Yeah. Oh, looks like a Q. I don't. Oh yeah, this Interesting. looks like it an looks A. Looks like an you know? A. Yeah. 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 I've noticed that a lot recently with uh, with cursive. Yeah, that exactly. The O's can look a lot like A's at the end. Yeah. And um, well, These I can fun. just look at the open type. Uh, Open type feature and see, look, like this kind of end is really nice when it can uh, come out. Oh uh, yeah. You can see the natural connection. Um, if I get the regular O's. Mm -hmm. So the end is kind of fun in there and we could um, just, I don't know, work a little bit more <laughs> about uh -huh. on it, but just uh, continue with the stroke. Ugh. What would that look? <laughs> you know, we know what you're go what you're gonna yeah, do though. We you trust. Guys know. You guys yeah, know. we trust that it's gonna be beautiful. So yeah, it's just it's just really fun to look at at fonts that have a lot of open type feature just so yeah. you, it gives you idea. You know, I just changed the M without even without even wanting to. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Is that an M? <laughs> so yeah, this is cool. uh, business penmanship. This is kind of fun. Yeah. Um, I really like this one. This is one that they saw also that uh -huh. they that they liked. Uh, I feel like the um, the uppercase is really beautiful. It's and very lovely. It's called canela. So uh, canela. I, oh, it's like a flower was, maybe or canela. Maybe. Um, We'll see. I think, I think canela is from commercial type, but I might be wrong. Oh, okay, but it's, cool. a, it's a really cool font. And yeah. um, there's one that I uh, that I put in there yesterday that really looks like canela that they didn't pick, but I feel that is kind of in the same vibe. Oh, nice. Amerigo. Amerigo. <laughs> it's kind of a weird name. Yeah, so uh, I just put it there because I feel like they kind of have the same vibe. Oh, they but do. Kind of the same, the same serif. Mm -hmm. Amerigo has a little less contrast, but yeah. I feel like um, this one feels a bit more fancy, I guess. Yeah, I think with those uh, more broad yeah, exactly. uh, slabs, or not really slabs, but they feel a little bit more unique. And this too. is and this this is something we often see with like really uh, into fashion brands. You know, they're yeah, you know, there's a, li uh, a lot, lot of contrast. contrast. Yeah, you're right. With so thin so I feel line. like maybe Amerigo could be a good in between because it got a little less contrast, feels a bit more uh, I don't know accessible mm -hmm. maybe a little less fancy. So yeah, I agree. I think we're gonna work a bit with Amer Amerigo. Cool. Um, then they chose 
Oh. Hi Ryan, <laughs> welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they uh, they chose a, a font called Swift. Oh, <laughs> Swift. We're if, always coming back. If to you're Steve just Swift. joining us, <laughs> <laughs> we found out yesterday that Emil is a huge Taylor Swift fan. Huge. So. If there's any Swift references, we know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if Shal's in there, my good friend Shal. Oh, is, Shal? He's a big T-Swifter. Oh, big T-Swifter. Is that yeah. what they call you guys these days, a big T-Swifter? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. T-Swifter, um, huh? Where were we? <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, the, some of the other, uh, other fonts that they chose, um, like these two, I put them together because oh, they feel a bit more yeah. uh, feminine. There's something, uh, yeah, there's something a bit more uh, soft about yeah, them. Yeah, the one on the bottom is beautiful. Yeah, and I feel like um, these would work better maybe just in lowercase. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, it's yeah. so simple and elegant. So this one is Anselm. I really like the, the A in there. So maybe the rest of the font yeah, is good. not perfect, but I really like this type of A that maybe uh -huh. I'm going to use in somewhere. Beautiful. And then more straight looking fonts that they chose. I really like the, the condensed feeling of this one. The um, the, the uppercase I that looks yeah. a bit like a mono, uh, mono space font. Totally. And there's something fun about that. And uh, the last one, this is this is two-day shop in extra light. Um, there's something about light fonts that also look a bit mm -hmm. feminine, I guess. Mm -hmm. That that's something that we definitely wanna wanna work on because I think they're they're gonna be only women swimwear now. Mm, no, or right maybe now at the beginning. At the beginning, it's yeah. only. Uh, like a swimsuit for yeah. for girls, but uh, think, it's uh, yeah. it's it's gonna be for for men too. Yeah, they're they're gonna expand and have more product than just swimwear, and that, that's why they um, uh, at the beginning they were uh, calling themselves Mancano Apparel. Ah, oh. is that the correct pronunciation? Apparel. Apparel. Okay. Apparel is a drink. Oh, yeah, and a good one at that. <laughs> and a good one. Yes. Yeah. Again with the cocktails, Emil. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so so they were calling themselves a apparel, 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 apparel. We can go with that. I mean, you're French. Apparel. You can get away with anything right now. Yeah. So <laughs> they were calling themselves uh, Monicano apparel because uh, they felt like if they were only calling themselves swimwear, ah uh, yes, it it's limiting. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, yeah since we mm -hmm. know that they're gonna expand and not only work with uh, girls, maybe we can drift a little bit away from these yeah. type of phones that feel too feminine. But I think so. This is a good uh, a good start. I love so the mix. This is great. This is the kind of fonts we're gonna be working with. I feel yeah. So um, as I was saying earlier, I like how straight fonts can look as tropical as others and. Um, I really like these That's type quite of nice. fonts. I don't know if it's the, the the fact that it's extended, but or or the inline. Yeah, but the inline details are really lovely, and they're playful but still yeah. like mm. uh, structured. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I like these type of fonts yeah. that has a lot of contrast but no serif, so it kind of drift away from the, mm -hmm. the, kind of the type of uh, yeah, the really yes. fashion. And Joseph uh, has a good point. It's gender neutral. So Ooh, I think that's... Neutre de genre. Yeah, mm -hmm. neutre de genre. <laughs> yeah. How? How do you say that? Gender neutral. Okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> good, good point, Joseph. Yeah. Yes. Good point, Joseph. And um, yeah, I really like this one too. And this is uh, a bit too vibrant for the type of vibe we want to go uh, with, but I really like the, um, I don't know, the, the kind of shadows that's in there. This is something that sign painting has a lot. Yeah. And, um, Bye, Tina. Thank you. We'll bye see bye. you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> see ya. Uh, so Ryan, would you consider this Z to have a serif? Mm. Yeah, it kind of mm -hmm. does. Yeah. It kind of does. But this feels really much like uh, this is this is custom type. This this doesn't like exist. I don't think this is a, a font uh, at all. Yeah. But yes, this is something that probably put there just to I feel close the shape of the logo. But yeah, this is yeah, this is nice kind detail. of a serif. Yeah. But I feel like if it was a font, maybe the top part would have one, and yeah. Mm -hmm. But good point, uh, Ryan. Yes, good point, Ryan. Um, <laughs> Vero's over here working <laughs> away. Yeah. She's all like, ha ha ha. <laughs> um, this one feels really nice. This is something that we're gonna maybe 
drift away from mm -hmm. a little bit because we were we were on this type of, uh, of visuals yesterday, but we decided not to go in the Miami vibe. Yeah. But I still really like the simplicity of mm -hmm. it and the, the the two fonts that they have, one for the logo that's mm -hmm. feels, well, it's a script, but it's really like clean script. Yeah. So there's something fun about that. And then uh, working with something like, uh, like this, that's... It almost seems like two different cards for me, mm -hmm. which it's so um, yeah, yeah, exactly. so diverse from the front to the back. Mm -hmm. Where I was like, oh, it, yeah, it's, yeah, it it's interesting. Gives, gives an element of surprise. Yeah, I guess. it does. Yeah. It's like ha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I really like the color palette of this one too. Like, yeah, it's yeah. beautiful. The shading. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, as uh, as I said earlier, these are all from Behance. So I, I feel, guys, if you want to look at this project, if you, I don't. I don't know if you can just write hula oh, yeah. somewhere. Uh, this was a really fun one. I really like this one. Um, and after that, this is a cool, uh, yeah, handmade font that I liked also mm -hmm. because it is pretty much straight. Like the, it's yeah. not, it's not the script, but mm -hmm. it's straight, but is also handmade. So I think maybe this is somewhere we want to go also. Yeah, I like the and, type uh, underneath too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's really really cool and very that's, wild that's something we we kind of uh, maybe want to do maybe maybe this kind of type is mm -hmm. too much for us but if we want to have like money can with something more straight and then mm -hmm. ap apparel uh, apparel <laughs> yeah apparel <laughs> my He's like, accent <laughs> sorry <bad. laughs> yeah so maybe have a script underneath of the logo could be nice yes. this is great this is good training because for those of you joining you can submit your portfolio mm -hmm. and on thursday emil is going to do this but to <laughs> your portfolios with vero's help so <laughs> As it'll be earlier, pretty cool we're gonna be kind with you guys yeah we're gonna be kind <laughs> Um, and I really like this one, uh, not because of the of the um, of the symbol or the icon, just because of the font that mm -hmm. it is so simple. But like the the yeah. whole package of it is fun, and how they presented it, and how how the logo is uh, applied on. Yeah, the, I it's think cool. it's just about simplicity, but it does the job. You know, kind of reminds me of like a Brooklyn Italian diner yeah, in a way, exactly but. Taken like, out of context, yeah. yeah, it's pretty cool. Just the little curvature and then text underneath, like there's something really simple in that. And I feel like when you have a brand that really, uh, that's really vibrant and really, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, colorful and things like that, maybe you want to have, um, you want to have a logo that's a bit more, uh, yeah, a bit more straight and just yeah. has a little touch like that, and then you can get crazy with the rest of the brand, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Palm tree shadow yeah, is brilliant. Palm tree exactly. shadow is brilliant. That's yeah, great. Yeah, I really like that. And uh, some people were asking where you find your fonts. Well, that's something we talked about yesterday. Uh, I find it pretty much everywhere. You everywhere. Know. And typekit. You, you got yeah. Type yeah, typekit. Typekit is a good one because there's so much stuff in there. Uh, there's um, yeah, there's a, an app that I that I love. It's called Font Stand, and oh, mm -hmm. uh, I can yeah. I can open it and just show you guys. This is really cool. Um, so I, I don't know. It's, it's like a library of fonts that you can try. To, you can try for free every font that's on there. Oh yeah. There are a lot of foundries. You can browse by uh, type of fonts. Mm -hmm. You can browse by just by fonts. And if you have a name in, in, in mind, if you have a particular font, you can go. And there's uh, by foundries, and there's a lot of them. Nice. There's a lot of them. Lots of foundries. And uh, yeah, so it depends on uh, on what you're looking for. But yeah, as I said, uh, as I said yesterday, there's there are my friends, covers and brasses in there, and they're oh, with fine. like Emigre is there, uh, Bold Monday is there. So it's kind of a big <laughs> name. Uh, yeah, and um, I don't know. I, I just want to go on over Bold Monday. Look at when some you look at the foundry, you get. You, you know the the fonts, so you always like yeah. Yeah, keep them in them. mind yeah. Yeah. and okay. say. Oh, yeah, for this project, I might use this one. Yeah, I think no, I got great. Canela from there. <laughs> so, sure. speaking of fonts, we have some posters. Oh, yeah. Using fonts. <laughs> if we want to pop over to my screen, we have five or six submissions so far that we can look at for the Rubber Band Festival. Yeah. Uh, so, here's the first one. And I'm not sure oh. who this is by. 
I don't see the name on there. But I like the idea of like we, we squeezing all, the world. We, yeah, we saw we saw a lot of videos like people putting rubber bands on yeah. uh, on watermelon and watermelon <laughs> exploding. So I'm not sure if you want to explode the world. Yeah, but amazing. I kind of like the idea of that. Uh, oh, this I one's can't find cool. that one. Well, that one might have been good. Who knows? <laughs> uh, there's another one. San Francisco Rubber Bands Festival. Oh. Drunken Elastic, Rubber Kid, Stretched <laughs> Faith, Elongated Apocalypse. That's very creative with the names. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I really like the, the, the extended type the of that. concept. Yeah. yeah. That's strong. Um, here is one by Leticia Kestain. Let's see. Oh, cool. Interesting. I like the, this type of visual, like really 3D and outline fonts it's yeah. it, it has a uh, really different vibes from what we saw earlier and totally. that's really cool mm. uh, and then here's one by amara bellamy mm -hmm. a lot of fonts maybe we can take some fonts off and like maybe s get that a little bit a little bit simpler because the the illustration is really simple mm -hmm. so that might that might help but could work and then this last one by Anna Zigla. Nice illustration. Yeah. Cool. Hmm. Read now. Oh. I don't know if I'm going to click that, but <laughs> 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 just in case it's a bug for my computer. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys for submitting. Keep the submissions yeah. coming in, and we'll keep reviewing them. Keep them coming. All right. Let's go back to your type board. <laughs> And um, yeah, I just, the Monaco now. I just wanted to show how uh, Font 10 works because I think this is a great tool. There's a lot of fonts in there, and uh, if you like some some uh, fonts in there, I don't. I'm gonna choose this one, Pilot by by Bold Monday. Um, so yeah, when you're on on the font page, you can write anything you want, just like any other. Uh, yeah, any, any other font uh, type foundry mm -hmm. site or anything. So yeah, I just wrote Monicano in there. It's gonna update. Yeah. Nice. So there's I don't know a lot of fonts, and I feel like the semi bold could be nice. I can try it or rent it, and that's what's cool with them. You don't like purchase a, you, you don't purchase the license, so it's mm -hmm. much cheaper, and then you can uh, uh, try before you buy. Exactly. Nice. So um, if you don't plan on using it after a particular project, but mm -hmm. maybe you can rent it or try it and then the client can uh, can get the license for themselves. Nice. Yeah. Um, so that's pretty much it. So that's one site we get fonts from, but like there's so, so many, so many like, out so there, many. guys. Just yeah. And if you're like Emil, you can make your own. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Bad blood. <laughs> I'm not going to show it again. <laughs> I'm not going to show bad blood again. <laughs> but yeah, as we said earlier, like I, we draw fonts for the logos, but we tend to just buy uh, secondary fonts mm -hmm. after that because I'm not going to draw a font for every project no, we no. do, you know? <laughs> not every time. I think it depends That's, on if the yeah. project needs it. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Would and it's. Fun. It would be fun, mm -hmm. but it would be long. You yes, know? yes. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I also started oh. some icons because I felt like uh, this type of project that's going to be a lot of Instagram and on, yeah. and on the web really needs an icon. Um, so what else would you use the icon for since it's um, an apparel line? And uh, yeah, this is something that can go everywhere on on the swim swimwear swimsuits mm -hmm. and As a little uh, stamp yeah, it's uh, this is the the kind of thing that can go pretty much everywhere, you know, and that's going to be really uh, defining for the brand. Yeah, and um, that's something we we do a lot. We create like uh, not only one logos, but you know, a simpler version of mm -hmm. it. Yeah. I, I call it a stamp, so yeah. you recognize that it's part of the, mm -hmm. the identity and yep. it's, uh, it's simple mm -hmm. and 
and you can play with it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and I think a lot of times now that everything is more digitally based to, to start, mm -hmm. having a responsive logo exactly. that can yeah. be set in small spaces versus exactly. always the word mark, there's mm -hmm. the versatility of having an icon, then a word mark, then a logo, and a lockup. So mm -hmm. having all of those mm -hmm. is an asset that makes it really flexible. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Especially like on the swim swimsuit, you don't want like a big logo, you want right, something simple. Right. So mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. I think it's a good idea to have a little symbol that goes with the logo. Yeah. yeah. So a lot of you are tuning in and watching while at work, like uh, Daniela and uh, Andrea. So she's saying that a website favicon too, which is also important, yeah, having yeah. that sure. little mm -hmm. icon on the website. Uh, that's a great point. Yeah, same, same thing for profile pictures. Mm -hmm. People are going to follow them on, on Facebook and Instagram yeah. and you can't have a really complicated logo. So that's something we, we will surely focus on. Exactly. Having something that's really simple and that can fit in any kind of little shapes. Yep. Yeah. Hi, Olivier. Hi, Olivier. He loves your work. <laughs> Did you pay him to say that? No, not even. Not <laughs> we, even. We don't know him. He's like, we don't know him. <laughs> you do now. <laughs> now we're all good friends with Olivier. Hi, Olivier. We'll send you a check later. All right. Um, so I don't know how it's going to work from now. I, I think I'm just going to try and uh, redraw these uh, these icons for right now and see mm -hmm. how it goes. Cool. And after awesome. After that, maybe when I have uh, an icon that's that feels a bit more finished, I'll mm -hmm. look at the fonts again and see what kind of pair I can I can do with them and uh, awesome. maybe draw fonts later. Gabrielle is really liking the two that are on the top. So. Yeah, and uh, yeah. <laughs> you're like me too. <laughs> the, the things, the, the thing is, I I'm not gonna like redraw everything. Like uh, th these yeah. were really first sketch, so like. I'm, I hope this isn't the only part of the video that the, that the owners are gonna look because <laughs> these these are not like the the final the, the final icons. These Don't are just worry, idea clients. That I have. This is the creative process. You, you guys are gonna be fine. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna love what you yeah. get. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna start with this one. Amazing. I really like this one. That's just an M that yeah, feels watery. Wave. So. I think yeah. I'm gonna have to try on how much wave and a pattern I want to have in it. Maybe mm -hmm. it's gonna be more outline or not. So this yeah. is something I'm gonna work this on right great. now. And then Vero's uh, following along over on the other side, working yeah. on color palettes, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, cool. I don't know which screen people. I know. See do we want to take a sneak peek of yeah. your screen? That we would can, be great. Yeah. yeah, we can do that. Awesome, um, Paco. Can we hop over on mm -hmm. Vero's screen for a second? Ooh, nice. Yeah, so yesterday we were talking about uh, the color palette and mm -hmm. people were asking uh, how, um, why do you choose th these yeah. colors and stuff. And we were not sure yesterday uh, if it was the good color palette that we showed. And so mm -hmm. today um, what I did is I took off from the presentation mm -hmm. the boards and I split different color palette and, yeah. made, and create like universe of colors. So maybe... Uh, Maybe the client will will prefer one direction to another, but mm -hmm. it it gives a tone to um, to it. So if we wa uh, if we look at the warm weather escape, uh -huh. one like I took off some pastel colors um, from the the pictures, yeah, and um, it I, I keep in mind that it's we're more soft now. It's like mm -hmm. it's, yeah, it's more toned down. So that's true. From yesterday, it was yeah. a little bit more vibrant and poppy. And like uh, we we tried to push inspired by the nature, and uh -huh. uh, so something a little bit um, uh, lighter. But yeah. at the same time, maybe it's gonna change, and we're gonna put so something really bright into it. But yeah, no, that's great. And then the bar below, is that what what is the relationship? But sometimes I do that just to like see the ratio that exactly. we mm -hmm. we can use on this because if if it's uh, if I would have put the red on this, the, the, right. the long bar, um, it wouldn't give the same tone. Too much red, exactly. Exactly. So right now we have like a little bit a better idea of yeah. mm -hmm. how we can play with this. The stream's really liking the colors and Jeremy has a question. Do yeah. you use Pantone colors or just CMYK breakdown yeah. from the selection of your image that you took? At this point, I, I'm not looking at Pantones. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe if, too early. Yeah. Maybe too early, but with a brand like this, it could be really interesting to choose a Pantone at the beginning that yeah. you say, like, this is the color we mm -hmm. go for, and 
we identify mm -hmm. the brand to this Pantone because mm -hmm. it's it's easier to match everything after yeah. when you have like a Pantone. Mm, that's great. But as the, at this point, we're we're not uh, thinking about this. Yeah, I think it's really helpful to see the ratio of the colors in um, in context with the palette above it too, so you can see how you're breaking it down mm. specifically for what's the larger amount that you're going to show. I think that exactly also because at the end you won't be using like you. I always like to keep more colors, mm -hmm. but you you don't want to have too much color to say to the client we're going to play with uh, eight different colors. Like yeah, it, it's exactly. too complicated for them, and they 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 will not understand. And so you you can say. Uh, um, we have three main colors and then we have a palette of colors that goes well with the three main colors. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So in this option, um, it's it's more earthy mm -hmm. and it's more like you can see that it's a little bit more uh, healthy and more, uh, um, I don't know, like the little green, the little... Yeah, uh, more muted too. Exactly, mm -hmm. more neutral. Yeah. Natural. Yeah, ne neutral and natural. Yeah. <laughs> Both. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, I really like uh, these, these kind of color here, too. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, oh, yeah it gives nice. another option. And it, they look nice, too, with bright color. Like, even if they're not part of the color, color palette or um, the, the print stuff, yeah. they will look good next to colorful colors. Oh, mm -hmm. completely. I think this is great. So yeah, Ryan and Benjamin, they're all like, yes, hey, <laughs> hi, yes, these colors are awesome. <laughs> Perfect. And the, the, the last option, the last um, board that we had was the amazing picture and eco-friendly board. Mm -hmm. So a lot of blue, like different shades of blue and green. Yeah. And I think we could extend it to like many more. Mm -hmm. And maybe we can have just another color that uh, the complement I like the pink, and mm -hmm. I've seen a photo of that. That's the Australian uh, pink lake. Mm -hmm. So yes. that is a natural phenomenon, uh, even though I think pink is sometimes a, like a color that people don't find to be as natural, but it is yeah. found in a lot of natural places. So exactly. It's, it's a beautiful natural color. I mean, not just flamingos, <laughs> but also in water. <laughs> so. I think in all the mood boards we had, we had some kind of pink, so yeah. I think it's kind of important that it's there. Totally. And Maybe we can tone it down to something a little bit more peach or... Um, I think it's quite lovely. But I, I really like this one. Yeah, welcome Pedro, it's his first <laughs> time here. Amazing. Oh. And Maxime says pink is the favorite color. We'll so, take uh, yes. your advice, Maxime. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and um, this is um, like all the team that we have. This is and, great. Yeah, and we add... Um, more punchy color. So I just brought it there. That was the first thing that I did. But uh -huh. at this point, I'm just playing with colors. So I'm trying mm. stuff. You never know yeah. what mix. And uh, I really like those three colors, actually, yeah, when I was beautiful. doing my test. Mm. And I like took them out of this and started to play Very with it. Very natural. Yeah. yeah. So this is a great way to, to play with colors and just like find I great mix. Mm. Maybe. Um, I'll put some numbers next to the color palette and if people uh, can Ooh, tell yeah. us. Uh, yes, another contest and competition. <laughs> what color is your favorite? <laughs> There's nothing to win though. Yes, yeah. which palette are we uh, are we are we <laughs> voting on palettes to start with? Because I think you're doing more than one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sure we are. <laughs> you're like, yes. Emil's <laughs> like, yes, we are. We are. <laughs> He's like focused over here saying we're doing yeah. more than one palette. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we have a number one, number two, and number three here. Amazing. We'll here. So you can vote now. So let's go, Ryan says. All right, one, two, and three. Which palettes are we, are we inclined to start with? What's your favorite, though? Yes, what is your favorite? Wait, I'll keep, I'll just put, because uh, I like this one, but these, these are not working with this. Ooh, 
So yeah. I'll keep people posted. are liking two and three, one and three. Oh, this is tough. They like yeah. them all. <laughs> they like them all. And the thing is, uh, not every color palette can fit for every logo. Well, I guess they, they can, but if if a logo is really into like for for this particular project, if mm -hmm. one really speaks about water, then you you don't maybe want to go full blue in it, and you want you could because it already speaks about water, you know. Yeah. And if there's one that's more <laughs> abstract. Tracked, <laughs> five. Then, oh, five. Someone's combining two and three and saying five. <laughs> Sneaky. Ooh, wow, hard to keep up, guys. Yep. Mod <laughs> says 12. <laughs> one and two, I think. B. Fernanda, Pedro, Sadar, Perfect. two, one, three. <laughs> Diana says three. Oh, there's so many. Yeah. Mm. There was a lot of two and three. Yeah, a lot of two. And I got say two, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got this too? Yeah, okay, I got we'll go with too. I got yeah. <laughs> I got this too. Perfect. Perfect. Amazing. But we'll we'll play with the different options, but we mm -hmm. uh, I was just curious. Perfect. What people like the best. All right. So maybe we even start with uh, two, but this is again your choice. <laughs> the world Thanks is Vero's you. oyster. <laughs> <laughs> Mode just put our phone number in there. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. That's so funny. <laughs> that there's an interesting comment according to your keywords one, and that's a good point. Like what? that's something too that we like always. Um, ah yes. Like remind yourself. Uh, that yeah, going back to the attributes. And yeah, keywords. and it's yeah. it's a good point. Mm -hmm. While I was doing it, uh, the yieldful word yeah um, is important. So maybe the maybe because it's more colorful. Um, yeah, well. that's true. Yeah. That's very true. It's on point. So maybe like if we go with the option two, we uh -huh. just need to add a little bit of uh, something that will... Um, but maybe the font will take that yeah. and push the, the idea of yeah, more vibrant. Yeah, you never know until exactly. you see the colors paired with exactly. the type. So. Exactly. Yeah, and for those of you who just saw that flash on the screen, <laughs> there is going to be socks and pillows coming <laughs> soon. What? So yeah, we have about 15 minutes. So get ready for the hype. It's not happening just yet, but we can show you. There is a new pillow. Oh, this is InDesign? Yeah, this it's InDesign in now. I know. It's InDesign and or... socks. <laughs> so this is a, a pie pillow? A pie pillow or an ID pillow. Ooh, nice. You, you do play volleyball, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> volleyball We're seeing is all, your skills. <laughs> it's all about throwing pillows. It is, it is. <laughs> Amazing. We can uh, go back on Emil's Oh yeah, we can go back onto Emil's screen and check out what yeah. he's been up to. Ooh, some wavy M's. Yeah. Nice. I'm not I'm not uh, I don't know. I'm not I'm not sure about it. You're not it. convinced with your own work? <laughs> not not right now. <laughs> not, not right now. I feel like this stem is a bit too off. It it feels too much on the right. Um so yeah, that's that's pretty much what I'm I like what the I one that you doing. drew, though. I think it's yeah. pretty nice. Uh, the the original. Sketch. The original it's, one. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, that's how I'm working. Uh, I'm I'm always putting like red uh, uh -huh. red lines over over my original design, so I can just really see. Yeah. What see I'm how doing, close you, know? you are. Exactly. Yeah. But it might help just to see like the 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 full shape of it. Mm -hmm. Well. Oh uh, yeah. What's if happening? it's uh, filled in. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. For sure. There you go. So we can see that it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> well, Diego yeah. thinks it's sexy, so I'm with you, Diego. It's a all sexy right, M. All right, all right. <laughs> yeah, it's going to come. Yes. These things take time and finessing. Exactly. Exactly. So how many of you are out there right now working uh, at work and possibly even working on logos alongside what mm -hmm. we're doing right now? And sure, <laughs> if you guys have any idea of how I should uh, work on on this, please <laughs> help help me, guys. Oh, help me. open for opportunity here. And Augustine says that um, they love your process, and they loved you even more when you mentioned Taylor Swift. There you go. <laughs> Who doesn't? Ah, uh, Thad is working on a logo as well. A lot of people are working right now. Dylan, Joe, Diego, mm. Raven. Ah, uh, Kevin wants you to make this more swift. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, another tool that can be helpful, I saw someone mention it earlier, is Adobe Capture. 
Ooh. Have you ever used that app? I don't know that app. Oh. What is it? Can we talk about so, that? So yeah, um, I learned this last time when I was here, and I'm just looking at my phone right now because this is an app on your phone oh. by Adobe. And you can download the app uh, if you go to your apps page. And what you can do is take a look at the different areas on the Adobe app. And there's shapes, type, colors, materials, and patterns. Okay. And you can actually use it as a camera. So we could take a photo of your M that you drew okay. and then capture that in vector and send it to you. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. So that way it takes a little bit less time to outline it, and it's actually yeah, exactly. your illustration as well. Yeah. Um, oh. There's some there's some cool ways to do that. I don't know. Do you, you, you probably, maybe I can. Can you, do you want to yeah, yeah, I can take a oh, look at so. this. I can even do it on your screen. Wow. Yeah. Um, so we can dial up the contrast and dial it down. Oh. Oh. oh, hold on now. Let's see. Mm hmm. All right. Plug in oh, nice. my phone. Okay. Here we go. So, as you guys can see, <laughs> <laughs> actually, if I go back, so this is this is transforming any image into vector. And since Emil already drew this M, why not use the M that he actually mm -hmm. drew by hand? And what we can do is, I think we're going to move on to my screen in a quick second. One more <laughs> second, there. everyone. Adobe all the way. <laughs> yeah, that's my computer screen. Well, there's a submission for Rubber Bands poster. We can look at that while we're waiting. Why not? That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. This feels so Oh, yeah. Well, in the meantime, instead of pulling this up, what I can do is take a photo, and then we can actually show what it looks like. Yeah. So we can tap to freeze it, and then we can, we'll just do nice. that for now. And then that way I can just, since you're not on the cloud yet, I will send it to you. Okay. And then that will be a quicker way right now. Okay. Um, all right. Take your outline out for you. All the other crap nice. that I captured. Yeah, it's a pretty cool app. Um, I highly recommend downloading it for some easy on-the-fly work yeah, that sure. you can do with your own stuff. Mm -hmm. All mm. right. And so then we can compare it with the vectors from Illustrator. Yeah. Exactly. And what I can do is email it to you. Emil. Emil and I are really close friends, so I'm just going to email it to him. You can text me if you want. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, you can text, it's cool. <laughs> All right, so this will come through. All right. Perfect. Yes, for those of you watching, Adobe Capture is a really cool uh, app that you can do quite a bit of capturing live, um, live color palettes. Um, Adobe Capture is the app, and you can capture color palettes, shapes, type even, um, materials, patterns. You can do quite a bit with it, and then it allows you to automatically sync with the cloud and put that in a library of your own. Hmm. So yeah, it's pretty fun. I think let's Did see it if work? It's, um, it's still sending right now. It must oh, be a bit why. of a bigger file. Um, <laughs> we will... We will hold tight. We'll let Emil keep working until this goes through. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> In the meantime, how many of you out there are using Adobe Capture? I know Joseph says it's dope, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Some people are using it, that's amazing. Yeah, download it now, it's pretty cool. <laughs> yes, Arturo said it's gonna be a game changer for you, Emil. Sure. I agree. Sure. <laughs> So it's got kind of art what you're trying to do. Yeah, I, a, I respect yeah. that you're trying very hard to I'm do trying. it. I'm trying. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying. I'll see what it what it does. But the thing is, I, I'm trying to trace it like as closely as mm. possible as the, the drawing I did. But mm -hmm. like, it's never gonna look like it. So I'll just have to, uh, yeah, to redo it after. Ah, uh, yes, Chris is agreeing. It's the best <laughs> app yet. 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 <laughs> 
Oh, Simone said he did a vector of a meal. <laughs> with capture. <laughs> I like that. Simone, maybe you can submit it in a poster yes. for or, rubber bands. Yes. Or not. Or maybe not. <laughs> yes. It could be the feature band of I a meal playing and the rubber yes. bands band. <laughs> I love it. Smoke, can you please mm. put me in a band with Avril Lavigne? I can't send it. <laughs> For some reason, it's not sending right now, but that's probably my connection. Okay. I think that we'll just keep going on with what you're doing here. It's more interesting. Yeah. <laughs> so this feels a bit <laughs> weird. Um, I don't think so. Yeah. Feels a bit weird. I like weird. Weird is good sometimes. Yeah. Not You're that like not kind for this. Weird. This is not that kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, the thing is <laughs> you, you can't get get it right the first time, you know. Yeah. So this <laughs> feels just too loose for me. Uh, I feel like it needs a little bit more structure and I didn't, I don't want it I don't want it to look like like I really drew it by hand. I want it to feel a little more yeah, precise. Exactly. Uh, got it. Yeah. Well, then it's probably wise that you already started with the outlined M that was structured. Yeah, exactly. Because I think that that's... that makes sense if that's what you're aiming towards. Yeah. See, it's all in the designer's <laughs> mind. He knew what he was doing. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. David says it is now looking wavy. It is. That's cool. Yeah. Mm hmm. It's got a little bit of wave to it. I think that was intended. <laughs> sure. Yeah, the, the thing <laughs> sure. is to put the, the waves inside of the M for Manicano, so yeah. Yeah. Um, so we there. have about 30 more minutes uh, until the submissions are due for Rubber Bands posters. So get your Emil Rubber Bands posters <laughs> submitted soon. <laughs> Maybe even use Bad Blood. I don't know. Like there's yeah. a, all sorts of things that you get, can do. Get Bad Blood and try to make a poster with yeah. it. <laughs> if rubber band is a rock concert, oh, maybe, yeah, right? maybe Bad Blood could work. Maybe Bad Blood could work. And like Voodoo Val said, the giveaway is in five minutes, so wow. get the hype ready. Not yet, but get it ready. Hype is on hold. <laughs> and so the, the winner is totally random, right? Uh, the winner is random for socks and pillows, yeah, yeah. but for the poster, that's mm -hmm. up to your guys' choice. Cool. Yeah. So maybe if there's a really beautiful poster of a meal playing like a guitar <laughs> with, with Bad Blood, Levin. oh, and Taylor Swift. I mean, there's all sorts of things that I could be. I think you're happening. gonna regret saying that. <laughs> I know, right? No, I'm I'm gonna regret that she said that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, you don't you never know. Uh, God, <laughs> too funny. So uh, I'm pretty excited about the Monacano swimwear line. I, I want to know when they think that they are going to have their first swimwear out there. It's by, they are testing the product right now, and I think it's going to be uh, um, launched really soon. Ooh. The, the two first uh, swimsuit for for a woman. Oh, super! Um, but they want to do it well, so they're not. It's not a rush to uh, to to finish it. Yes, we will just put this here to let <laughs> everyone know that this is what they can win. If you're joining us now, you can win socks and a pillow. Ah, and Goyam has a question. Are they also going to do swimsuits for men? Good um, question. I think so, yes. Great. Nice. That's perfect. I, I, maybe not, I'm, but I'm, I'm, it's... We, we hope so. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Ah, yes. Nah. This feels way too distorted. <laughs> I don't know. There's something really cool about it. Yeah. Yeah. It feels, it's got this like wave to it that feels a bit natural. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, because I, I don't, I was thinking maybe I should do like one side and make a symmetry out of it, but then the waves. But then it's too symmetrical. Yeah. yeah and it feels more like purposeful in a way. I'll just, yeah. I'll just do it to see. And may, maybe just so people can see what it's gonna do, but... Oh, that's great. Yeah, it'll be good to show the difference in the emotion mm -hmm. that it creates just by making it mirrored. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very different feel. Yeah. Feels more draping. 
Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin likes the more interactive version. Mm -hmm. oh. Me too, Kevin. <laughs> Cool. So how's the color palettes going over there? Sneaky? I'm, I'm already uh, trying some tests. Oh, the are you? Too, yeah. Maybe we should look over at yeah, Vero's screen and check out what she's been up to. I'm just uh, trying to uh, to find some... Uh, well, I'm playing with fonts right now, too. And Ooh. I took I took my... Um, the, the phrase that we... Yeah, we, water lovers. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> I think it's fun to write some stuff sometime and just mm -hmm. play with it and, yeah. like... That's totally the idea. Mm -hmm. nice. And then, like, when the client sees it, this feels this feels already real, you know. Totally. So. Oh, it's beautiful. Took some. I love the text. palette. It's it's really lovely pulling out the pink and and the combination with the green and blue. It's way more feminine than what Emil is doing. So, yeah. <laughs> but. Maybe we can balance it <laughs> exactly. at one point. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, Augustine is really excited about this palette too. So is Aaron. And uh, yeah, it's very nice. Very cool. So I feel like we're really close to giving away a pair of socks. <laughs> Who wants socks? Really close. Who wants socks? They're Who the wants same Emil's as... socks? No, I didn't wear it. I didn't wear it. <laughs> You're like, no, never. <laughs> yes, Kimberly would like socks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, socks are the best. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? Have you ever tried shoes? Shoes, shoes, are, cool shoes are cool too. Yeah. yeah. Are you kidding? People would go crazy if we gave yeah. away shoes. <laughs> Spark branded that shoes. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, Adobe shoes. Adobe mm, shoes. That'd be cool. But we're not winning those today. <laughs> no. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Maybe we'll get someone to design some shoes for us. I know a guy. <laughs> you know a guy? I do. I know a good shoe designer. <laughs> He's incredible. All right, so we're looking at you guys here today. Pillows, socks are coming at you. Thad, Ryan, <laughs> Ranky, Goyam, Anna, Ryan, all the sock lovers out there. <laughs> <laughs> Philip is uh, getting Philippe. crazy right now. Ah, yes, Junior wants some socks. Everybody wants socks. <laughs> all right, open the app and you can add your name in there to randomly get chosen to win the sock and the InDesign pillow. <laughs> The sock. Just one. <laughs> Just one. <laughs> Just one sock. Yes. The Louboutin. <laughs> <laughs> Spark socks. Um. Ranky Wang won the socks and the pillow. Congratulations, Ranky. Maybe Ranky. we should all give him a round of applause or her. Good job, Ranky. Good job. Very nice. <laughs> so he wins both, right? Yeah, I know. And some stickers from Tina. Uh, Tina Tooley had created some stickers, and I know that she's putting together a bunch of stickers really? to give to everyone who's won this week. So it's pretty cool. Are they Adobe stickers or? They're little T stickers. TT. Yep, for Tina Tooley. Oh, <laughs> clever. They're super cool. They're all different, too. All right. So. Yeah. Ooh, we're making waves. I'm trying to like work this. on the wave pattern because I'm trying this one now. Oh, fun. There's something about this one that I like, but I feel like it's going to be a bit time consuming <laughs> since we don't have a lot of time. <laughs> Although I think it's looking really cool. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, one of the things that always throws me off is color. And, yeah, and I sure. think when you see it in the black, it's already starting to feel like right on, you know? Yeah. And it probably won't be seen that large either, so. <laughs> True. Yeah. I'm going to try maybe just putting it uh, with, a, with a font and mm -hmm. see what it does. Yeah, I think that you could have something there that you might not yet know. I'm just, um, I'm just looking at Vero's, uh, Vero's screen for, uh, for colors and I feel like oh, maybe I can darker. I with you. Okay. So I'm just getting a darker blue for now. Amazing. 
Ah, uh, yes. So keep submitting those posters of uh, Rubber Bands, the festival starring Emil <laughs> and Taylor Swift. <laughs> and Avril Lavigne. Yes. Yeah, oh, and Avril Lavigne, yeah, too? Yeah, yeah. Uh, is this another one of your favorites? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> that one I really like. Yeah. Yes. Is she Canadian, right? Yeah. Ah, yes. I see. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad I still know some of those things. She, she, she's married with the... Um, with uh, Nickelback singer now. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Music unites. That's, yeah, well. Depend mm. if you yes. are the kind of person who thinks it's a real April. Oh, <laughs> or the fake yeah, April. there's a conspiracy theory about her, but no, we don't want to go into that. <laughs> no <you know>? conspiracy <laughs> theories here no, today. No, no, we're not going to go into that. Um, Brian Lee is asking a really fun question. What are you trying to design? <laughs> <laughs> Brian, are you not tuning in? This is the M for Monacano. He's like, ah. <laughs> yeah. He's like, ah, now I see. I think it was zoomed in so tight that oh, he couldn't yeah. see it. <laughs> it, was, it was only like. Yeah, he was like, way. ah, what is that? This is a wave. It's a wave. It's a wave. It works with the swimwear. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, wavy I gravy. Just, yes, everyone's back from yesterday. I can see that. <laughs> gravy wavy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I just saw a uh, small was asking if we're more of a complicated by Avril Lavigne type or more I'm with you by Avril Lavigne, and I'm oh. or more I'm with <laughs> you. Just so people know, I'm with you. And um, nobody's home, guys. You you should really listen to that. Yeah, <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say about that. <laughs> Amazing. Well, keep submitting those posters, you guys, because Emil is going to judge them with Vero <laughs> in uh, in about a good <laughs> thirty minutes or so. <laughs> I put it in the Creative Cloud tabs. Okay. Oh, great. Uh, That's cool. the first so, time we use it, and it's very nice. Yeah, yeah, so you guys start to collaborate Where did you put to it? your Creative Cloud. I, I, we never used it before, and it goes awesome. really well. Yeah, I find it oh. to be really helpful. Right there. The text clipping? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's probably just loading. Yeah, sure. Just All right. Yeah, uh, it's there. Oh, I think that's looking cool. Yeah, there's something in, in yeah. there that yeah, maybe works. It's coming along, yeah. I feel like this should be more rounded. Whoops. I really like this feature. I do too, the selective radius. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. I use that like literally every, every I do time too. I work. There was a day where I accidentally lost it. <laughs> I think I had turned it off on my features oh. and I was like, <gasps> I felt so lost, yeah. like I wasn't wearing underwear or something. Like, I was like, where is my <laughs> radius corrector? Like, this what, is what were we doing before <laughs> yeah. that, you know? Exactly. What were we doing? <laughs> it's like it's like when you, you talk about before internet, what were we oh, doing? Oh, I know. And, well, exactly. You never know. Totally. <laughs> So for those of you that are watching and following along, um, Emil is creating an M insignia for the Monacano brand right now. And while he's doing that, Veronique is uh, simultaneously working on color palettes on the screen next to him. And you guys are sharing uh, through Creative Cloud. Yes, yeah. we That's are. That's great. Sure. I yeah. look at that. Newly, but... Uh... It's, it's, All right. It, yeah. Joseph said that selective radius is his dog's name. Mm -hmm. Man, really? that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so cool dog. <laughs> um, so which color palette people chose? But they, they like the second one second a lot, one? and I added the blue because it's oh. a little bit more playful. Nice. Right yeah. I'll go with that. All right. Yeah. Ciao, Jim. Um. I don't really like the, the circle around it. I feel this looks like an M&M's to me. Oh, you know? I see that now. Yeah. yeah. So I think I'm just going to... That's true. And if you add color, then it might even be like a pastel M&M. Yeah. Um, which one feels better? Which one do you guys like, left or right? <laughs> this, um, is, this is a tough call. I like the one on the left, I yeah. think. Yeah, I think. It too. has attitude. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted that, to see what it would look like with more rounded shapes, but I mm -hmm. feel like it needs this. Yeah, as yeah. I, it looks like it's been warped in a really cool way, yeah. which feels like it was structured at once. Mm -hmm. But yeah, exactly. a lot of people are saying left. Left, right. Yep. Yeah. All right, Tom, Diana, Ranky, Arturo, left, left, left. Yep. Mm. And a Tita, good Augustine are in. Yeah. Center. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Guillaume. Yeah. He said center. This yeah. is a. 
I'll go with only I white. I that, yeah. All right. So this, uh, there's a, another way that I could have done that, which would have been like uh, getting an M that I like and put it in, in uh, Photoshop and just oh, right. and moving it, it with yeah. like a warp tool. So that could have worked too, but like, I like let's, this let's though, just keep that. because it stays vector and it yeah. has our exactly, you know, exactly. crisp. I think that this is a good route. Um, Let's go with that blue, and I, I was, I, I wanted to, to put a, a font with that and see what it would look oh, like. Yeah. So I don't know which one would feel right with this. Hmm. Something maybe a bit maybe, straight. Yeah, I'll maybe. try with this one. Oh yeah. We'll see. Nice. Ryan said, "Good eye." <laughs> I Thanks, think he's, Ryan. I think he's talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, there's like 21 minutes until the deadline. Thanks, Tim. Um, if you're tuning in now, you should take a look at the submissions and submit your own poster for the Rubber Bands Music Festival starring Emil, Taylor Swift, <laughs> Avril Lavigne, <laughs> Veronique, who I coined earlier as Vero Unique. Vero Unique. <laughs> Vero Unique. <laughs> just, just so you know, guys, you're not obligated to put us in the poster, you know? <laughs> nope, not at all. Not at all. Don't I use mean... the word us. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it was only about you the whole time. Yeah. yeah. Please send a picture with him on nope. it. <laughs> yeah. Actually, Arturo, Simple Radius is a good band name. Oh, true. That's yeah, true. Yeah, right? Yeah. Or Selective Radius. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, this is looking nice. I like the M mm -hmm. on the blue. It, it evokes the water. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's cool. It's like sand and water. Yeah, exactly. These two colors together are really yeah. good. Feels a bit Greek. I don't know, it's the, it's the type of blue that... Oh, yeah, maybe. Whoa. Ah, and now we're looking over at Vero's screen. Now we're back to Emile's. <laughs> we're like, wait, wait. <laughs> what did you write? Water lovers. I'm going to try and do something like that. Ah, uh, yes. Hello, France. Hello, Tom from France. <laughs> <laughs> he says, Vero for the win. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. And Ryan's also commenting on the fact that he likes the blue with the sand. Mm -hmm. So I think it's really pretty. Yeah, yeah. I, like the, I like this color. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to try and... Uh, the green is nice as well. Mm -hmm. It yeah. feels um, even more removed, which is interesting because it, it doesn't relate as much to water, which is mm -hmm. kind of cool. Mm -hmm. You know, it takes you out of that sea say. It's really pretty. So I just tried to uh, get a more bold uh, font uh -huh. because the I feel like the M is really bold. Yeah. So it was a bit too flimsy, I guess, for mm -hmm. the, the two to work together. So. Oh, I can see that, yeah. Yeah, it feels more connected one to another. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then I was trying something with that, and um, I don't know, we can like imagine something like an, mm -hmm. an Instagram post, and mm -hmm. so we're going to try and find a, a secondary font that feels a bit, uh, yeah, a bit more secondary. <laughs> I like that. I like that. That's a, you know, a secondary font that's secondary, yeah, exactly, you know, exactly. as you do. <laughs> I'm gonna try with this one that I feel has a bit less personality than the. Oh, I like that. I also like the but, uh, mm. the W quite a bit. Yeah, it's, but I feel like it's inverted somehow. Yeah, or, or it maybe looks not. like it's flipped. Yeah, but it's cool. Yeah, I kind of like that. Nice. So yeah, maybe let's focus on other. Um, other options, but like we have cool. something yeah, that... Yeah, we have a start for that one. That's a great yeah, start. Yeah, exactly. Mm. So maybe uh, I'll just uh, give it to Vero. <laughs> and, uh, Amazing. Oh. I like the font he chose for the logo. Mm -hmm. Like since good. the beginning, I think this font works really well. Yeah. And this was in the in the ones they, they liked, so... Yeah. Is mm -hmm. it the same you're using right now? Um, it is, but I use it not in caps. Yeah. So Ranky has a question uh, for Emil. What is the shortcut you're using to change the letter spacing on the fly? Oh, like this one? Yep. Uh, this is Alt and the uh, arrows on the keys, on the, on the keyboard. Left and right. Yeah, left or right. Yep, so you can uh, extend and contract the kerning. And then if you want to do the... How do you say that? Uh, word, not Oh, letting? 
The leading. Yep. Leading? Yep, leading and kerning. Huh. Well, same. <laughs> Alt and <laughs> arrows uh, up and down. Up and down, yeah. In French, it's inter, uh, interlineage. Oh, alternate line? What does that uh, mean? In, inter. Oh, inter. Space? Uh, this is inter lettrage, so inter letters and then inter. Oh, Interlineage, yeah. Oh, inter okay, cool. Yeah, interlineage and yeah. Uh And it traditionally comes from letting, tracking and letting, which is like from actual lead type. Yeah, yeah. So the letting oh, is like letting, little yeah. pieces of lead that you would put in between the, the yeah. type pieces to space it out. Yeah. Letting like uh, lead. Interlineage is in between lines. Thank you, Tom Marchand. Tom, Tom Marchand. Marchand. <laughs> I'm learning my French. <laughs> it's like a French Can course. Yes, thank you. Merci beaucoup. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Beef bourguignon. <laughs> <laughs> Bibliothèque. <laughs> All right. You're really good with bibliothèque. I mean, I do know that song by, uh, I think, who is it? Flight of the Concords? <laughs> the Foodie Fafa song. <laughs> I don't know that song. Oh, yeah. They, they sing, sing in, they at sing at in the thick French. Yeah, oh, I'll okay. sing it at the festival. At the Rubberman yeah. Festival. At the Rubberman Festival. Yes. <laughs> Foodie Fafa. <Hey. fa. laughs> yes, learning French with Christine. Exactly. Thank you, Tim. <laughs> yeah, yesterday we were on Life Tips. Now we're on French. Yeah, now we're on French. Yeah, Life Tips <laughs> by Le Billy Club. <laughs> yes, Pampa Moose. <laughs> oh, boy. Ah. Uh, so Emil, you are working on another icon. Yeah, secondary icon, which is just an M with some waves in nice. between it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna look how it. I like this. I'm just trying. This kind of looks like a moustache. <laughs> 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 is that does, does my moustache look like this? No, no, maybe. If you you would need more of yeah, the, the upward yeah, exactly. side. Yeah, this is cool. M for moustache. And Manicano. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like the um, X because it reminds of a, a yeah. swimsuit. Oh yeah, totally. Like the the back of a swimsuit. Oh, so oh that's, that's cool. The kind of, uh, you thing. know, in the, since you're working with them while they're still developing some of their like visuals for the mm -hmm. designs, maybe they can incorporate that into the exactly. actual swimwear. Yes, that That'd would be, nice. be very cool. Yeah. All right. Cool. Amazing. All right, you guys have 13 more minutes until we close off submissions, so get those posters in. I know you're working really hard <laughs> to be clever with those oh designs, so I'm very excited. I'm very Ooh, excited, too. This is beautiful. Yeah, this is nice. Yeah, I really like this. I also like the monoline that you're starting out with. I don't know if that's intended or not, but it's really cool. Yeah. It, I, it is. It is intended, but I don't. I'm. I'm not sure if. if not sure you like it yet. No, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use like uh, a mono monoline mm. for the font. Yeah. That's gonna be with it, but. Andrea um, thinks it's very clever. Thanks, Andrea. Thank I'll you. say thanks for a meal. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm like kind thanks. I did it all from my doing, seat yeah. right here. <laughs> <laughs> Good work, Emil. <laughs> Keep it up. Um, <laughs> Poor Emil. I want to see what it looks like in a, in a round shape. Maybe Ooh. just close everything together. Yeah, William also says, very nice logo, Emil. Thanks. Yeah, it's almost like you're a professional. <laughs> do you do this professionally? I, I do sometimes, <laughs> you know. Sometimes. <laughs> this is good. Between my volleyball games yes. and, uh, <laughs> and, and your rock Taylor Swift concerts. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Very busy schedule. <laughs> this is kind of nice. I like that. I'm going to see if I can do something a bit more bold with this one. And mm -hmm. I don't know. It feels less like. Uh, uh, William is wondering where you are going to put that. Maybe on the label? Yeah, labels or uh, yeah, pretty much anything. As we said earlier, this is something that's going to work well on, uh, on the social media also. We want something that's simple and that will work on, well, everything. Everything, you know? yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of the purpose of a logo, you know. Oh, yeah. Um, it's always fun to have that little uh, element. Yeah. 
for sure. So and is... Vero, let me know when you're ready if we can look at your screen. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can switch over to Vero's screen quickly and take a look at the progress. Ooh, yeah. wow. I'm just taking uh, right now Emil's fonts, mm -hmm. test fonts that he made and like trying to mm -hmm. apply them on the palette mm -hmm. and try like try to fi find fonts that work together. So like, oh, nice. let's say uh, here, this one is more uh, s s stylized. Uh, stylized. Yeah, stylized. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So like I chose um, a font that is two next nice. to it. And uh, this font too is very round. So I'm trying mm -hmm. to find something that is round, but maybe the W is too, uh, it's, it's too different to yeah. Mm. Too much with this option, but it's really pretty. The Monacano font that you're using for mm. that one is really lovely. What is it? Um, uh, for the Monacano? Canela. Canela, right? Canela. Yeah. Got it. Uh, Ryan O'Donnell is uh, wondering if you ever show clients roughs or do you only show them finished work? It, the finished work, we, we keep the draft like yeah. if, because you have so many tests, then mm -hmm. you keep that. Because mm -hmm. you want to go back if it's not working. Yeah. And you you keep yourself uh, some options. Because mm -hmm. they, they're good mm -hmm. options. It's just you, you take what you think works the best and what you prefer and what you want to uh, play with after. Yeah. And yeah. it's a great question. Yeah. And I feel but like it's, if, if you present everything, it's too complicated and it's mm -hmm. very hard to choose. It's like going to a restaurant where, where yeah. there's so, <laughs> so many so options. So much on the menu, yeah. So many yeah. different styles and like... It's when a you, great metaphor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. And that comes back to what we were saying uh, yesterday that like mm -hmm. presentation is key and if you like show rough draft to a client maybe, yeah. he's, not, he's not in the mood to... Uh, to uh, imagine it in context and everything. Yeah, like, this hard. is something that's easy for us, but maybe not for your client, you know? Yeah, completely. So presentation is key and uh, showing like really, really crisp and uh, yeah, really finished stuff to the client helps him to know where, you, where you're going. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a lovely font as well. Which one is the one that you're working the with? The Swift. Now? Swift? Ah, yes, no wonder. You might Swift. need to use it because we <laughs> talk too much about uh, Taylor. About poor Taylor, <laughs> yeah. Incorporating Can her. Can you try in. something with uh, Anselm? I really like this one. I'm going to try them all. Oh. So. There you go. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Hi, Sean. Just joining now. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> We're looking at Veronique's screen, and she is going through and choosing font pairings from the fonts that they had pre selected mm -hmm. from yesterday. It's quite beautiful. And I really like seeing the sneaky work that's happening over here <laughs> on Emil's screen. <laughs> Um, you guys have about eight minutes left to submit your posters for the Rubber Band Festival contest. And what's amazing about this is if you win, you win a full year of Creative mm -hmm. Cloud. That's a really good subscription. This so. might be useful. You know? Yeah, definitely useful. <laughs> yes. Ah. This one is weird, but it's fun too. Yeah. Because it's weird. Yeah. It's got some Not personality. True. Yeah, I think it's all about that A. Mm -hmm. Let's just, mm -hmm. maybe let's forget the whole font and we mm -hmm. can uh, integrate that kind of A somewhere else. With the, the keywords that we add, yeah. like having a more serious color palette, but uh -huh. having a font like this is like a great mm -hmm. mix because you you see uh, the the youthful and the, yeah, no, that's true. that yeah. it's not too serious yeah, and not too clean. It's and got some uh, personality exactly. to it. Yeah. Junior yeah. Corrado says Amerigo all the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good one. It's a good one. It's a wiener. So Michael would say. <laughs> that's a French word. <laughs> wiener? Wiener. <laughs> Winner. <laughs> that is a joke, Emil. It's yeah. a joke, it's a joke, joke Come Emil. on. <laughs> I like that. You're like, ah, come on, I have to explain dogs. everything. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, amazing. Oh, we have quite a few submissions. This is exciting. We could take a, well, I think we'll wait. Maybe we should wait until the very end for submissions. I don't know. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? Do you want to look at a couple now? 
You're the boss. All right, wait, I'm not the boss. Vera, you're the boss. <laughs> Vera, do you want to look at a couple posters now? Uh, yes, I want to see Emil. Okay. Okay, we will get this. Okay, fingers so crossed. fingers crossed that Emil shows up in these. Oh, I, I wanted All to right, we will crossed. switch over to my that. screen and we can look at some of the poster submissions. So here is nice. one from Akash Joshi. Very nice. Really like the simplicity of it. Yeah, it's cool with the music too, the mm -hmm. instrument. Yeah. We have. I think we saw this yeah, one earlier, we this but one we earlier. maybe didn't get to talk about it too much. Yeah. This is from Natalia Camargo. This feels something like vintagey again. Yeah, this, I, I really like that. Yeah, kind of Bauhaus too, yeah. Yeah, but with a with a London yeah. mix. <laughs> feels right. Uh, we have another post mm -hmm. here. Oh, Taylor Swift is a guest artist. That's amazing. Nice, <laughs> real nice. This is from Marta. Oh. I'm just gonna go with Marta because I don't want to butcher her last name. Yeah. <laughs> It's like for the bands, bands. that's cool. Yeah. yeah, I like the integration of the yeah. inside the letters. Yeah. It's always cool not to just put a logo there and yeah. just play with it. Oh, nice, this one's actually, really nice. Yeah, Philippe, uh, if we go down, there's yeah. even oh, some yeah. application. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. It, yeah. All right. And we've got... Oh, oh really nice. Wow. <laughs> Wow, the doors are playing. That's Who knew? I didn't even know they could come back from the dead. That's Noir amazing. Noir Désir is there too. Noir Désir. <laughs> Noir Désir is playing. Awesome. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, you guys keep submitting. Yes. We'll save a couple for the very end, and we'll go back to Emil's screen to check out yep. what he's been up to. <laughs> yeah, so I got this one that I like, where, um, you know, I was working earlier with the uh, same... Uh, I don't know, same uh, thickness mm -hmm. for uh, for the waves and the M. And I'm trying to have a bolder M and something more light for the the waves. And I think that it looks kind of cool. Yeah, it's really cool. What do you guys think? Well done, everyone. Yes. All right. Um, this one also feels good. I'm gonna try something like that, but with maybe uh, solid colors between everything. Maybe it's gonna be cool. Yeah. Um, Amazing. It's hard to do it. Yeah. A different icon because I feel like there's so many uh, mm -hmm. codes mm -hmm. for tropical and yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm I'm playing a lot with water, but I mm -hmm. I, I like got her. a couple a couple um, icons that I just wanted to see like what water oh, cool, could yeah. look like, mm -hmm. what like the sun could look like. This could be sand. Uh, like if you in if you integrate a fish in there, maybe <laughs> it's a lot totally. stylized or just can be just a line. And uh, so this is just something I do sometimes, just to see like different shapes to represent the same object. Yeah. But like I, it's not intended to use as is. Just to, it's just a reminder for me that like if I draw. Um, uh, a, a leaf. Well, it can look like that, but it also can look like that. And, Oh, I'm gonna nice. come back. Oh, nice looking at all the color palettes again too. <laughs> it's a great refresher. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those were the color palettes from yesterday that we're not using anymore. The unchosen ones. <laughs> yeah, sadly. Super cool. All right, you guys have two minutes left to submit your posters. <laughs> we're down to the wire. The wire. Oh yeah. All right. I really like where that's going. I'm gonna get my palette. So when you guys are in your studio working together, do you listen to music? Yes. Sometimes, yeah. Nice. I listen to a lot of radio actually. Oh. But like in like old man radio or talk radio? Yeah, or talk radio. News radio? Yeah. Nice. Talk radio. Ooh, I like they're adding some color. This is cool. But yeah, sometimes in the afternoon. Uh, gets more wild with music, yeah. a lot of Taylor Swift going on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, South Africa sends love. Amazing. 
Sinen Halanya. I hope I said that right. <laughs> <laughs> it, it looks like uh, yesterday there was a submission. Oh, oh yeah. true, true. And You'd have to turn it around and make it long yeah. and like a, a rectangle. <laughs> yeah, that's really interesting. interesting it kind of reminds is the me word. of like uh, an <laughs> owl too, an owl like flapping its oh, wings true. out. Yeah, it does maybe you should like save that for something else. You know, <laughs> <laughs> that's how us designers work. We're like, we're exactly. save that for the owl project that's coming up. <laughs> <laughs> We're designing owls, <laughs> designing animals. Exactly. You never know. There could be like an owl, owl, something. Yeah, yeah. sure. <laughs> You're like, yeah, yeah, sure. thanks, it guys. It can always happen. Thanks, guys. You're like, yeah, 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 sure. <laughs> <laughs> You're interpreting. Yeah, okay. that's cool. All right, we have 15 seconds for the submissions, you guys. I mean, 15. Go for it, guys. 10. <laughs> Oh, I can't so wait. Good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think Andreo is saying that the thicker M lines were pretty cool, so yeah. that's mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. I think that's the last submission too. Oh, one more. And if you didn't get to submit for this chance, there's more chances. So don't forget that there's another session after this with. Krishna uh, Duda Gupta, and she will be working later with uh, Paul, so you can be able to submit then for another chance to win. They're gonna work on the same project? Um, I think that they will be, yeah, I think they're working on the poster again. Yep. All right. Yeah, so it I, takes time to do a poster. It does. Yeah. May to do what we're doing too, but a poster. I know. Final poster. What do you hard. think of this one, though? With the blue shades. You like that? I like the different shades of blue. Yeah. For sure. Okay. It's oh, that's beautiful. This is not the kind of things we do normally, like having different shades in the same logo. So that's I like that's it. not a comfort zone for me. But oh, I, I like that. It's getting you out of your comfort <laughs> zone. Kind this of is, like it's kind it. of like listening to ACDC after listening <laughs> to Taylor Swift. You know? <laughs> yeah. Good for you, Emil. Kinda. Good for you. I'm going to let this there. Yeah. Let's see I like what it. comes out of this one. All right. So we have some more submissions. Yeah. You guys ready to take a yep. look? Sure. Okay. Let's do it. So this one, and we'll flip over to my screen, there you go. is Chris Car Caros. Mm -hmm. Like the idea. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Go bands. <laughs> and another one. This I'm not sure who designed this one, but we will definitely mm -hmm. announce the name when they or if they win. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's see. This is Marie Recadress. Mm -hmm. Cute. Yeah, good illustration. Yeah, tying the women. Doesn't look like together. a rock festival, but it's cute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think that's true. They look too nice too. They, they look <laughs> like uh, the students or. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and this one is by Subash. Mm -hmm. And I think there's some context for this one oh, too. Okay. It's nice to see it in place. Yeah. Yeah, and have different color palettes. Yeah, different mm -hmm. color palettes. Cool. All right. All right. Um, oh, we saw Shall that one. Let's see. Uh, here we go. Hmm. Yadira. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, you've got a little bit of um, music and mm -hmm. water working in some water theme there. There's a lot of things going on, but I like the keyboard. Uh, yeah, the keyboard mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, good idea. Uh, here's another one. Rubber bands. Rubber I'm bands. Taylor Swift. Oh, yeah. Taylor this Swift. also looks like an owl, you know? The yeah, two, it two does eyes. look like an owl. I'm I think there's some Taylor subliminal. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. the best music festival. <laughs> Here we have That's another one. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and more. This it. is pretty fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Fun. cool colors. I like this there. one a lot. Yeah. I like the fingers pulling the bands yeah. across yes. yeah. on the other hand. <laughs> uh, rubber bands. Oh, from New York. Hmm. Okay, so reminds me of Nirvana and... a little bit, but without the water. <laughs> yeah. It's well done. I like it a lot. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know where the rubber band is. Rubber duck. Rubber duck. All oh, right. nice. Yeah, old school. Yeah. I really like this illustration. Yeah. That's cool. All right. Let's see. This is from Lauren Eby. Mm. 
can't stare at it too long. Yeah. Because <laughs> of my eyes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, especially when you're scrolling down. Yeah, yeah right? Like, it's Whoa. like, <laughs> Cool effect. Oh, we awesome. already saw this one. Okay, right. so I am going to see if there's any more submissions. Mm -hmm. I'll pull out the ones that you Perfect. guys have taken a love yeah. to, and um, we'll take a look from there. Give me two seconds. No worries. All right, so in the meantime, maybe um, we can talk a little bit about what you guys are going to work on tomorrow. Yeah, well, sure. I think um, at this point, we both have like some tests. Of course, when mm -hmm. we have way more time when we do mm -hmm. a, a real project for this kind of uh, project, but um, I think um, we'll decide on what fonts we're going to use. And mm -hmm. um, tomorrow, we're going to apply our choices on mockups and like prepare a presentation. Yeah, we kind of want to do uh, the same process that we do normally with clients. Mm -hmm. So we're going to just pre prepare a, a presentation like we would normally do, you know? I like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. This is really coming along. Yeah, I like this yeah. one. It's like we look away for one mm -hmm. second at a poster, and then we look back, yeah. and Emil's like, ah, I got a logo. No, <laughs> I think it's just important to choose like the, the yeah. tools we want to work with, yep. and yeah. like the fonts, and even if it's not final, final, at least tomorrow we can like mm -hmm. prepare some stuff and yeah. play it. So we had one last submission. I'm going to hop back over on my screen. Nice. I can look at this last submission that I saw Good come one. in. Dennis Drummond. Um, so this is the last one that came in. And then I'm going to go back and look at a couple of the other ones that you guys were excited about. Yep. Uh, this one obviously was pretty fun <laughs> with the illustrations. Yeah, I really uh, like the colors. We oh, looked this at one. this one earlier, which yeah. you guys thought was pretty cool. There seems to be a lot of work into that. Like, oh, how can Yeah, that one hour, man, yeah. wow. And then this mm. vintage looking one from Natalia that we thought mm -hmm. was pretty cool as well. So Oh, I just saw there were Pearl Jam on the last one. Oh, week. really? Wow, and Foo Fighters. Oh, <laughs> that's Big amazing. Fan. Big fan. All, All right. right, let's zoom out. And then let's look at this one too. And then we had this submission. Mm. I kind of like this one too. The, uh, yeah? The, the rounded shapes of the font, I feel like it it fits with Feels the like rubber. rubber. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I like the simplicity of it. Cool. Well, is this what you guys are choosing? I'm not sure about oh, that. Oh, so tough. Can okay. you show the, one the other more. ones? One more. This one's cool. It is this very one's cool. cool. I like the colors too. They're mm -hmm. fun. Kind of sad yeah. there's not my face on anyone. I know, oh. right? <laughs> See? You were, you were bummed out thinking it might be show up, but now you're sad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and then this one is To that. me, this, this one feels like the real thing. It, yeah? I don't know. This, this feels like something we could probably do, but uh, I'm not sure. What do you think? I mean, it's the two last ones. The favorites. last ones? Yeah. This one and this one? Um, the no, other ones. On the other way. This, oh, one this one's really cool. And this one. It's tough But at choice. the same time, as you say, like, I, I like the aesthetic of this. If Mm -hmm. it, it, it looks less like a, a, a rock festival or something, uh, okay. but at the same time, it's a it could be a very strong brand identity and like mm -hmm. people yeah, just but, like. But you you have a point. Like this doesn't feel like rock and roll. But was was it the point? Was it a uh, rock concert? It is a, it is a music know. festival. Okay. Yeah, music in general. All right. Yep. I feel like this is it's between this one uh -huh. and the first one. And this one. Okay. Well, we're. We're going down now. We've down selected to two. This one by Natalia, or this one, which do we know who this is by? I think it's Marta's. I think that's what someone said. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, guys, what it's between think? the two. Oh, this is tough. I'm leaving this all up to you, the boss oh. and the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> The boss and the uh, lord. <laughs> I think we should, we, we could flip a coin at this point, but yeah? uh, e either could win. I don't know. Do you want to? I chose yesterday, so maybe today you can choose. Uh, okay, I then I'll go, I'll go with this one. This I'll one? With this one. Okay. Yeah, this speaks to me. So Natalia Camargo is the winner. <laughs> She's the winner. Good job, Natalia. Good job, Natalia. It's really cool. And I'm really excited to see the Foo Fighters, Pearl Jam, <laughs> the Killers, Red Hot Chili Peppers. If only this were a real festival, mm. we would all go. Yeah, we would. Awesome. I think it's cool. Could probably expand on it and do some other colors with it, too. Mm -hmm. Is Natalia there? Is, yeah, I don't are know. Are you listening, Natalia? Yeah. Are you listening, <laughs> Natalia? Are you out there? <laughs> I don't know if, the, if uh, people watching are uh, 
are on the same page as we are with the with that. Great work, Natalia. Yeah. All right, so I think we have about 15 more minutes and we can swing back over. Mm -hmm. Oh, perfect, mm -hmm. it's already on Vero's screen. Yeah. We can take a look at mm -hmm. some of the new fonts that she's been looking at. I'm just like trying to decide. It, for sure it's gonna, it might change oh. when... Um, yeah, that's a whole new mm -hmm. personality, I like that. I, I like to mix it with the icon that uh, Emil is, is doing. But, um, oops, I think we can go with a kind of mix like this for mm -hmm. the fonts because I, I know they want to write like a little message on mm -hmm. post and stuff. So I think the font that they really like, we, yeah. we're kind of used to it, but maybe it, it's like, because it's a fun font. Yeah. Fun font. Yeah. Fun. It's fun a fun font. Fun font. Fun font. Fun font. Fun font. Fun font. Um, I, will, I think I would keep this to do that. Yeah. And uh, then we just need to, to find the good matching fonts together. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, I haven't, I don't know. They're they're already nice and we just need to find which one fits the personality. I, I like in this one, the A2, that is, uh, as you said, more fun, yeah. Yeah. smaller, yeah. Uh, but still a little bit uh, rooted, like it's serious mm -hmm. and um, so yeah, I think um, right now I already know what kind of fonts we can play with. Oh, in the that's color good, palette. yeah. Um, Eric says, wow, this is Brazil. So that's a good <laughs> thing. Yeah, it's very cool. Perfect. <laughs> it's pretty great. So we have, we have uh, like three fonts. But we, we need to decide on the logo font, but mm -hmm. right now we have like a, more of a poster font. We have like a text font and yeah. we'll decide on the logo font and then we'll add the icon uh, with this mm -hmm. and make it match like if we go with round shapes mm -hmm. maybe we want to tweak the font a little bit to be more yeah. round yeah exactly and, find uh, some similarities that they and yeah that they talk together but um and the stroke too does yeah. the stroke match with the the weight of the the font the font yeah these are all good points to remember when you're designing with a lot of different elements because <laughs> yeah, exactly. you know, it can get complicated exactly. really quick if you mm -hmm. That's the art part find, yes. to make them all work together yeah, exactly. but have a lot of uh, different things to, uh, to, to work with. with. Yeah. 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 Totally. I like this. It's, um, we can uh, go back on Emil's yeah, screen. Yeah, we can look at Emil's him. screen. He's got... Because um, he, he put the, the icons next to oh, the logo yeah. already. Yeah. And it's... Uh, Hi, Benjamin, Tim, <laughs> and Arturo, Lucian. Starting to oh, take yes. shape. There's something in there that feels like nature. I don't know if it's yeah. the round shape that feels like the earth or... Sand. Yeah, it, too. Like a clay feel. There is something in that vibe that I like. Mm -hmm. it, uh, there's something kind of modern in using yeah, Dira only... loves those colors. Loves them. Thank you. <laughs> this is the color people chose. No, no. The um, people have spoken. The people. They chose these colors. <laughs> May, I'm sure they really like these colors too. Yeah. It fits them. Um, David says that it looks like na nature logo, mm -hmm. so that's nice. Yeah, natural. <laughs> I think it needs to be like a little bit bold too because that they, they want to be uh, like bold just in the yeah. way they work and well, they do yeah. stuff. Yeah. If we're, so uh, that will be important to, to like keep the mm -hmm. an image that is very um, not just bold but like they, they, uh, they assume who they are and uh -huh. they, 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 they are positive and yeah we, we had uh, youthful like, in our mm -hmm. in our keywords so yeah. like there's something that in bold. Uh, yep. Hello, that. Claude. Claude says, beautiful hey. work. Love it. <laughs> Claude. Piché. Uh, good night, Diana. Thank you for joining us from Switzerland. Wow. <laughs> what, uh, what time is it? It's bedtime for Diana. Yeah, right? Must be late. <laughs> yeah. Uh, cool. Yeah, those colors are awesome. Claude agrees. He approves. It's Claude approved. Yes. That's good. <laughs> Oh wow, it's uh, 10.45 in Nigeria. Wow. Wow, that is late. <laughs> yeah. Go get to bed. I know, somebody needs to get to bed. <laughs> There's something cool going on. Here, oh, I, I like that a lot. You know, when you play. It looks like a waterfall too. Yeah. Very cool. 
I kind of like the shape. You see waves and a fall. And yeah, it fits. I like the the negative space that's created yeah. when you change the background exactly. color, both to the light and the dark. Yeah. I don't know what it does, but it's cool. Wow. Yeah, that's very cool. I'm gonna keep it that way. Yep. And I definitely it... see some amazingness happening right now. <laughs> amazingness. Amazingness. Yes. The Lord has spoken. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. So funny. Amazing. Hmm. Yes, this is extremely inspirational work, you guys. I think the, Thanks, the guys. people that are watching along and everyone who is working from home and working at work, <laughs> They're uh, very inspired. Oh, wow, Emmanuel's uh, joining us from Macedonia. Whoa, I love I'm... reading all of these far-flung yeah. places yeah, sure. that I've either never been to or would love to travel yeah. to. It sounds, sounds very amazing. <laughs> I love that everyone's tuning in from home. We should ask people their favorite uh, beach oh, around yeah. the world. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what is your favorite beach around the world? Where should Money Cannibal go first? Yeah. Yes. To yes. their trip. Where's the trip? first place they should send Vero and Emil in their <laughs> swimsuits? So that they can do a swimsuit, swimsuit modeling model fashion now, show. Yeah. And I'm going to come along too. I'll do the nice. photography. <laughs> I'll wear a suit. Uh, <laughs> It'll be fun. Mm. We can all wear suits. I feel like now we could do, uh, since, since we're kind of... Oh, uh, another vote. Yeah, exactly. Kind of this another vote to see like where people want us to go with that. Yeah. We're going to surely uh, redraw anything and uh, maybe just finish it a bit more than where we are right now. But mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, these are a couple yeah, directions that we could go. Ah, lots of good beaches coming up. This is a great. We can always replay this feedback for your clients. Yeah, later exactly. So they can have a list of the best places in the world to go. <laughs> All right. Oh, people are already voting. They're like, number really? two. Augustine says number two. Dylan says two <laughs> or three. My dad says La Plage des Sables. That's like the worst. <laughs> <laughs> your dad says that? Yeah, dad, dad Mario? Mario. <laughs> I love yeah. it. That's a really original name, Dad. <laughs> this is great. That's something my dad would do. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm just going to uh, say Joanna says four number now. four. Yeah. Three, three. Yeah. You know, I'm noticing with four number three, three, it's hard to see with the dark background four. from yeah. a distance. But I wonder if it's the light one, if it'll stand out more. Because yeah. mm -hmm. you had the, the lighter blue in the background instead yeah. of the darker blue. But maybe I can... Then you'll see the M, maybe. Move that. Yeah, you can switch it. Oh, yeah, try both. What about? Yeah, because it was so cool. Oh, now it Whoa. looks like the owl. Oh, it also looks like a person jumping into the water. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah. That's true. That's cool. Waves, M waves. <laughs> four, know. two, three, so many. So are we between three and four? We're between so many things. These Arturo said game changer. I don't Claude know what was. Claude said one. Claude said he's, one. He's Claude like... said one. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna. Claude's spend the some voice time of reason. I mean, <laughs> no, but Claude it, said one. It's Claude one. said one. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it's. Ah uh, yes, David has a good point. Don't forget to save. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. There you go. This yeah, is the designer's enemy it, is yeah. like, oh, it's so good, it's so good. <laughs> Crash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, someone says number three. That's great, yeah. A lot of number three, two. four. I think people like this kind of yeah, <laughs> stuff. And um, yeah, as I said, I, I think I'm going to work a, a bit more on number one. And so tomorrow we have something that, that looks more finished because I, I really like this idea of the crooked M. Yeah. And I think it, it could look really good. It's got I, some nice we're, organic we're the number two. movement to it. Mm. Trying to emulate the M. So people are leaning towards three and four. Three, four, so maybe two. I really like number four, four too, you know? Yeah, I like number four as well. There's something really right. uh, peaceful about it. So the thing now, we're yeah. really looking at the icon because the, the fonts, Vero mm -hmm. did a lot of, of working with mm -hmm. them. So we're going to see which one pairs with the, with, with the fonts. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, and come back with that. Amazing. Well, we have a, a few more minutes, nice. I think. Maybe five minutes or so. 
until um, until we're wrapped up. Six minutes. You know, Six had, whole right, minutes. Um, this icon I really like oh, also. This could, I like that too because of the water drop. Yeah, and I tried to be a bit more conceptual yeah. with that. Like the, I wanted to be more abstract. Mm -hmm. And I, what I what I was doing is I was drawing this kind of pattern of yeah. of waves in there, and I these can be like two circles merging together. So mm -hmm. like each oh. each circle for the, the couple that yeah. are working together. And I also see an M too. Yeah, it, exactly. It does an yep. M, it does maybe a fish that's uh, that's uh, yeah. diving. So There's a lot of imagery in there. I have a designer that yeah. I work with um, at work that is always interested in creating multiple meanings yeah, for exactly. the logo. And I think this one could really have a lot of that. I think I'm going to. Yeah. I'm gonna try to uh, do that in uh, in six minutes. You said. Five yeah, minutes? I mean, <laughs> this is the challenge, everyone. If you can race Emil to do a logo in six minutes, <laughs> then Emil will give you the socks off his feet. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're my favorite. I'm wearing. Are they I'm, your favorite? Socks? I'm wearing my favorite socks right really? now. Do so. they have a pattern of them? Is uh, like, no, are they it's pattern, not pattern. Just plain? It's, yeah, it's, what color are it's, they? Uh, they're black. I need, I need to work. So no, I need to work. Yeah, get to work. Get to work. I was trying to distract you <laughs> <laughs> to make sure you couldn't do it. I was like, ha ha ha. Hmm. Oh, the, the race is on, Emil. <laughs> I'll give you. I'll get you a coffee if you can do it. Do you drink coffee? <laughs> nice, yeah. There's free God, coffee in the lobby, so I'll yeah? get you a coffee. Perfect. <laughs> can you get some Spare right no now? expense. Do you can want you? some right now? <laughs> I can do that. Yeah. No, 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 Are you don't, kidding? Don't leave. Don't Whatever leave. the Lord wants. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Lord Emil. <laughs> I, just, I just don't want people to, to like to think I call myself that. You know? He totally does. He introduced <laughs> himself. He's like, I'm Lord. <laughs> I never do that, people. Totally. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. We're just, you know, we're, we're agreeing with you. Yeah. I'm That's cool. Talking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Lord of Graphic Design. Wow. Zing. Nice job, David. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> See, David has confidence in you. Thank you, David. Yes. Thank you, David. Are you my dad, David? <laughs> oh, Are now he just Mario? said the Lord of Design, period. So, I mean, yeah. And uh, Tima only wants the sock from your right foot. Oh, <laughs> okay. That means that the one from your left foot is still up for grabs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, too good. All right. If you guys are joining us just now at the end of this period of the show, Emil is racing to design a logo in under six minutes just to win a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> a free coffee, though. A free coffee. <laughs> That's true, it's free. <laughs> uh, amazing. <laughs> Does it work? I think I'm... Oh, that's pretty cool. You are like nearly there. I'm yeah. impressed, yeah. Right. I'm very impressed. Wow. Uh... That was real. It's almost like you meditated this and then it happened. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. He's the wizard of design. That's right, Monier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a wizard now, yeah. Why not? <laughs> Who's into Harry Potter? Oh, nice. This is great. Yeah, Ryan just came back from walking away from the TV for a second and now he's like, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. See what six minutes can do? Yeah, design can happen fast. It design can take can. a lot of time, but it can happen fast. That's true. Some of the best design can happen in six minutes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, there's something there. There is fun. something there. I like it. Yeah. I kind of like that. <laughs> Expelliarmus. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Maybe I'll wear my glasses <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, William said it was almost a surfboard, which is also pretty cool true, considering true that this that. is a beach yeah. theme. Yeah. And Nicole says she wishes that she could go that fast. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> it's, it's not my first time. Emil is making us look bad over here. <laughs> As I'm always saying, it's not my first barbecue. You know? Yes. <laughs> Oh, well, hopefully you guys uh, will be able to see some more fast, amazing work from both Veronique and yeah. Emile tomorrow. 
um, I think what we're going to be doing is looking at extending the yeah. identities to mm -hmm. more context and additional palettes, right? Yeah, we're, we're going to choose maybe uh, two or three options, maybe maybe two, and oh, we're going to yeah, expand them and see uh, how they look. Yeah, I really yeah, like this I really one. like this, too. That Sometimes, really wow, yeah. Emil, yeah. <laughs> Arturo said, not your first rodeo. No. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That was a good one too. <laughs> yeah, this is amazing. Well, this yeah, has like been a really, really great like show. We have about one minute left, and after us, we will um, have KP on with um, Paul, and they will be doing some amazing design. Hi, KP. What's <laughs> up? Hey, Paul. I just want to know, people, do you guys like five more now? <laughs> we, we were the on race three. is on. We were on three and four. <laughs> now, are we on five? Do you guys like I love five? number five. Yeah, me too. Five all the way. Your last work is your best work. Yeah. Today. Today. I'm going to write that on my tombstone. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> oh, well, thank you, Veronique. Thank you, Emil. This Thanks, has been Kate. a pleasure to you watch go. you both work and listen to your life advice. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow. Come back yeah. and watch everything happen all again. <laughs> yeah. See you guys. Bye. <laughs>